Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Whether you are physically in the sanctuary with us or streaming us online, we're so glad you're joining us here at Temple to celebrate another Shabbat. The name of this week's Torah portion is Balak, and I wanted to share some fun facts about what we read in the Torah this week. First of all, there is both poetry and prose in this week's Torah portion, if you are into literary lenses through which to view our text. Um, this portion is also known for a talking donkey, which some people say it's the Disney movie portion of the Torah, um, but it is true. Rabbi, it's DreamWorks. Dream, <laughs> right. DreamWorks. I, I'm just repeating what I was told. Okay. Um, I think so. that's a copyright <laughs> issue there. Yes, um, but there is a talking donkey who... Uh, sees an angel in the road and refuses to keep going down the road even though his master Balaam is telling him to. And if you want to hear more about that, you can join us at Torah study tomorrow because we'll go into more depth about the donkey. Um, but a third fun fact about Parsha Balak is that we sing some words from it every single week during Shabbat. The words Ma Tovu O Halecha Yaakov Mishkenotecha Yisrael how beautiful are your tents, O Jacob, your dwellings, O Israel. And these words are spoken by someone who is not an Israelite, not Jewish, yet God talks to him. So for me, when I read this Torah portion, it's always a reminder that life is not always what it seems. Sometimes donkeys can talk. Sometimes God speaks to people in the Torah who are not Jewish, but are still on God's side. And sometimes even tents in a countryside can be beautiful, and somehow this line about our tents and our dwellings has made it all the way to our prayer books, and we sing it each week. So though it is not Shabbat morning quite yet, we invite you to join with us in Ma Tovu on page 74. Ma Tovu Ma Oh, Halecha Yako, Oh, Halecha Yako, Shkenotecha Yisrael. For those of you who aren't familiar, who don't regularly join us on Saturday morning, this is our regular melody, um, and it's unfamiliar to most of you. So I'm going to do it one more time so you can hear the chorus again. Matovu, Matovu. Oh, Halecha Yako, Oh, Halecha Yako, Shkenotecha Yisrael. Ba'ani v'roh uvchastecha, Avo letecha. We read responsively in the middle of the page. May the door of the synagogue be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. 
May the door of the synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to young or straying feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness and harshness. May the synagogue be for all who enter the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life. We continue with our Shabbat candle lighting on pages two and three, and we have someone very special lighting our candles tonight, Jody Klein, who is our interim TIR director. So here she is, you can all um, meet her, say hi to her after the service. We've been hard at work um, unpacking and cleaning and planning and doing all sorts of things. So we're so glad Jody is joining our team this year and we are honored that she's here with us tonight. Thank you. O oh, source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness, help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter this sanctuary in need, all who bring the offerings of their hearts. May our worship lead us to acts of kindness, peace, and love. Continue on page 20 as we greet Shabbat with Lechado D.
body or spirit and face the door to welcome Shabbat. Continue with Barhu, our call to prayer on page twenty-eight. <laughs> Page 31. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch Ata Adonai Hamaariv Aravim. Page 33, we read together in the middle of the page. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol, all these things your Torah gives to us. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form? Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echa Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Please be seated. 
page 36. All this we hold to be true and trustworthy for us. You alone are our God, and we are Israel, your people. You are our sovereign and savior who delivers us from oppressors' hands and saves us from tyrants' fists. Together, you work wonders without number, marvels beyond count. You give us life and steady our footsteps. You performed miracles for us before Pharaoh, signs and wonders in the land of the Egyptians. You led your people Israel out from their midst to freedom for all time. When your children witnessed your dominance, they praised your name in gratitude, and they accepted your sovereignty. Moses, Miriam, and all Israel sang to you together, lifting their voices joyously. We continue with Micha Mocha on page 40. Page 42, we read together in the middle of the page. Grant, O God, that we lie down in peace and raise us up, our guardian, to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Guide us with your good counsel. For your name's sake, be our help. Shield and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. Guard our going and coming to life and to peace evermore. Blessed are you, Adonai, garden of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us 
over all your people Israel and over Jerusalem. Baruch atah, atah Adonai, Shalom Shalom Continue our celebration of Shabbat with Yismachu in the middle of page 44. Page 46 and rise in body or spirit for the Amidah. Adonai sevatai tiftah ufiyat inta hilatecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe avotinu vimoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Ritha, Elohe Rachel, Ha'el ha'gadol 
Aquí por el lejano el león con el hasadim tolim recone hakol resolcher haste avot vi imarot ume vi gula liv nevne hem lim anshemo me ahava melechoser umoshia umagi. Baruch atah Adonai, Magin Avraham Ezra Sarah, Atagi Bor Leolam Adonai, Mechayei HaKol Atarav Lehoshia, Morid HaTal, Mechakel Chayim Lechesed, Mechayei HaKol Rachamim rabim, sonech noflim leofech olim, umatir asurim, umekahayem emunato lishene afar, michanocha baal gevurot, umidoh melach, melach mehi. Baruch <laughs> Please be seated. Top of page 53. Days pass and the years vanish, and we walk sightless among miracles. God, fill our eyes with seeing and our minds with knowing. Let there be moments when your presence, like lightning, illumines the darkness in which we walk. Together, help us to see wherever we gaze that the bush burns unconsumed, and we, clay touched by God, will reach out for holiness and exclaim in wonder, how filled with awe is this place, and we did not know it. Blessed is the Eternal One, the Holy God, Baruch Ata Adonai Ha'el Hakadosh, page 56. Amen. 
a moment now for our own silent prayers. Bottom of page 62. Page 253, as we celebrate the joys of Shabbat, we always take a moment in our service to pray for those in need of healing, whether it be healing of the body, mind, or spirit. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. Tonight, our congregation prays for Carol Babcock, Howard Sherwin, Pauline Sherwin, Anne DePaul, Susan Derby, Helene Edwards, Muriel Fields, Beverly Fruit, Rabbi Bob Goodman, Marilyn Goodman, 
Jesse Halpern, Mary Hartman, Kimberly Janis, Gail Jarrett, Robert Kay, Barry Newman, Sandy Olesker, David Osofsky, Laura Osofsky, Bert Peters, Buddy Pollock, Jean Posen, Sean Quinlan, Ron Rappaport, Randall Rout, Sandra Reznikoff, Toby Ringle, Devorah Botrachel, Adele Shamban, Sid Siegel, Ruthie Silver, Carolyn Snyder, Brady Spector, Ann Stone, Judy Van Gorder. If you'd like to share a name aloud of someone you're praying for, please do so as I look around the room. David. Charles Ellis, Dr. Kinney, John Mitchell, Ida Hayes, Gray and Dorothy White, Sam Sousa, Susan Pokeo, Fran Young, Larry Reed, Gary Lucoya, Ray Howard. For all those names we said aloud, those we hold in our hearts, and those around our world, we continue with the words of Misha Berach. When I was a kid and first attained the privilege of sitting in the front seat, I was fascinated by the wording in the side view mirror. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. My growing brain could not quite wrap my mind around what that actually meant. I would stare into the mirror and then strain to look over my shoulder, trying to compare what it showed me to what was actually happening. While contemplating this experience a little later on, I realized that it was one of the first times that I learned not to take things at face value. Just because there was a mirror next to me did not mean that it reflected some kind of objective truth. It was important that I look and discern for myself to determine what actually existed and form my own observations. We might think we know what's around us, but there is usually more to notice than what meets the eye. 
In this week's Torah portion, as our people continue their wandering in the desert, King Balak notices the Israelites from afar as they journey near his territory and set up camp. At quick glance, he fears this unknown tribe, as there are just so many of them, and their camp is very large and threatening. The king turns to the prophet Balaam, saying, There is a people that came out of Egypt. It hides the earth from view, and it is settled next to me. Come then, put a curse on this people for me, since they are too numerous. Instead of taking a closer look at them, or getting to know this new people for himself, he opts instead to take the tribe at face value. He perceives a threat and makes moves to wipe them out. Though Balaam is given orders by royalty, he is a bit skeptical. He tells the king he is not beholden to earthly people, only to God's will. So he will set out to follow the king's command of cursing the people, but can make no guarantees. Balaam knows that often there is more to life than what meets the eye, and so he cannot blindly agree to what the king asks him, even though the king holds much power over him. Who knows what he might discover or hear along the way that could impact his perceptions. Just this week, we received that same reminder that there is more than meets the eye to what we might see around us. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope revealed an incredible and unprecedented view of our universe. On Tuesday, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson stated, Today, we present humanity with a groundbreaking new view of the cosmos, a view the world has never seen before. These images, including the deepest infrared view of our universe that has ever been taken, show us how Webb will help uncover the answers to questions we don't even yet know to ask, questions that will help us better understand our universe and humanity's place within it. NASA staff shared that these images are able to tell the story of our ancient universe in an entirely new way through every phase of cosmic history. This is a powerful reminder that even science and history can be more complex than what we think, that there is always more to notice and to explore. Through evolving technology that provides us with new views, we are able to constantly learn and reevaluate our place in the universe. This week's discoveries demonstrate that not even the scar stars in the sky should be taken at face value. Our ancient Torah narrative reminds us of this principle as well. Rabbi John A. Linder reflects on Balaam's changing perspectives as he nears the Israelite camp on his mission from the king. Rabbi Linder states that in this story, we witness Balaam evolve before our eyes. In three scenes, Balaam is called to curse the people yet he blesses them each time. For the first two blessings, the king took Balaam to a place where he could only see a portion of the Israelite people. In other words, Balaam had an obstructed view. The king was hoping this might make it easier for the prophet to curse a people he didn't know and couldn't properly see. Regardless, channeling God's words, Balaam still offered a blessing. Now, in a different place with a new perspective, Balaam turned his face to the wilderness the third time he is asked to curse the Israelites. Balaam's view is no longer obstructed. He looked up and saw Israel encamped tribe by tribe, and the Spirit of God came upon him. This is Balaam's blessing. Word of Balaam, son of Beor, word of the man whose eye is true. Matovu ohalecha Yaakov, mishkenotecha Yisrael. How fair are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. For the first time, Balaam bears witness to the entire Israelite community. He sees them as families relating kindly with one another. Balaam's blessing now flows from firsthand experience. Similarly, the camera within the Webb telescope was built with crisp resolution and unparalleled sensitivity. Thus, it is able to capture new and more complex perspectives where our views were previously obscured. NASA reports, Webb reveals emerging stellar nurseries and individual stars that are completely hidden in visible light pictures. Because of Webb's sensitivity to infrared light, it can peer through cosmic dust to see these objects. Protostellar jets, which emerge clearly in this image, shoot out from some young stars. 
the youngest sources appear as red dots in the dark, dusty region of the cloud. Objects in the earliest rapid phases of star formation are difficult to capture, but Webb's extreme sensitivity, spatial resolution, and imaging capability can chronicle these elusive events. The more we experience, the more we know. The more we observe, the more we are able to understand. Balam learned that in this week's Torah portion, and with the new NASA images from the Webb telescope, we continue to learn that too. When we have an obstructed view, we do not have a full picture. The objects in the mirror become distorted, not matching reality. It is up to us to do the best we can to use our powers of observation to remember that we are never done seeing. Even when we think we are familiar with a people or a universe, a different or deeper view can surprise us and teach us. The key is to attain as complete a view as possible, using our own powers of crisp resolution and unparalleled sensitivity. Ma tovu oha lecha Yaakov, mishkenotecha Yisrael, says our Torah. How fair are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. Ma rabu ma'asecha Adonai, kulam bechoch ma'asita, we say in the Yotzer Or prayer each morning, thanking God for creating light. How numerous are your works, Adonai. In wisdom, you form them all. May we always strive for a full view, not assuming or taking anything or anyone at face value. May we remember that objects in the mirror are closer or farther or more complex than they appear. May we be humble enough to recognize that there is much we do not know and powerful enough to create blessing. Amen. Thank you, Rabbi. The melody for Matovu that you joined with me on at the beginning of our service, you're the only congregation in the entire world that sings that melody. I know that because I wrote it. <laughs> and I haven't gotten it published yet. But I'm going to sing a different version for you now that I'm really, I'm really happy to share. It's, I don't find it very singable for a regular congregation, so I don't use it um, during worship very often at all. But it's written by a dear friend and colleague of mine, Nick Cantor, Natalie Young.
turn to page 282 and rise in body or spirit for Alenu in the middle of the page. Alenu le shabbat la don ha kol la teit kidul la Shelo a sanu ke goye harat sod, velo a zamanu ke mish bechot adama. Shelo sam chel ke nu kahem, veglor alinu ke kho hamonam, va anachnu kori. Please be seated. Page 288. When I die, give what's left of me away to children and old men that wait to die. And if you need to cry, cry for your brother walking the street beside you. And when you need me, put your arms around anyone and give them what you need to give me. I want to leave you something, something better than words or sounds. Look for me in the people I've known or loved, and if you cannot give me away, at least let me live in your eyes and not in your mind. You can love me best by letting hands touch hands and by letting go of children that need to be free. Love doesn't die, people do. So when all that's left of me is love, give me away. 293, our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth. Our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. Members of our congregational family are in a period of shiva for Dr. Harold Kalman and period of shloshim for Stephen Kaufman, David Steidman, and Robert Stevenson. This Shabbat, we observe the yard side of Samuel Berger, Francine Burke, Samuel Blumberg, Stephen Cantor, Max Cohen, Ida Claire Coleman, Barry Kovitz, Morris Evans, Samuel Eventoff, Adele Fink, Maurice Maury Goldstein, Florence Harris, Herbert M. Isaac, Maurice Joseph, Esther Cartman, Mark Klitenick, Mildred Lawson, Wilda Alice Lipschitz, Joseph Lesser, Gracie Isaac Malover, Gershon Malowitz, Tessie Ornstein, Joel Richard, Hilton Ripken, Harold Rosenblatt, Augusta Rosenblum, Leopold Rosenson, Maurice H. Rubin, Erwin Arthur Sharman, Ralph Simon, Ruth Vigdor Slutza, Dr. Karen A. Steingarten, Sidney Weiss, William Weiss, Fanny Wildstein, Dr. Albert H. Wilkinson, Jr., Morris H. Witten, Marianne Wolf. And if you have a name that you would like to add to our list this evening of someone of whom you are thinking, please go ahead and share that name with us now. So for all of those whom we named aloud, and those who we hold in our hearts today and always, we rise as a community and join together in the Mourner's Kaddish on page 294. 
Yit kadal viit kadash me raba. Biyama divra chirute viam mich malchute. The chaye chon of yome chon. Of chaye de ho bait Yisrael. Ba agala of isman kariv imru amen. Yehe shme raba mevarach le alamul al me al maya. Yit barach viish tabach viit pa ar viit romam viit nase. Viet had daughter, viet halle, viet halal, shame de kudsha berichu. The ela min kol beer hata ve shirata. Tush be hata ve nechemata. Da amiran ba alma vi imru ame. Yehe shlama raba min shamaya. Vechayim alenu ve al kol Yisrael vi imru ame. O se shalom bim roma. Hu ya ase shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel, to which we say. Amen. Please be seated as we invite up board member Mike Miller to share some announcements with us. Shabbat Shalom. I'm Mike Miller, and on behalf, pardon me, Jack. I was told I'm not allowed to ad lib, so I'm going to stick to the. I want to get in front of you. You mean you're not going to have me back? <laughs> Anyhow, Shabbat Shalom, and on behalf of the Board of Trustees, we welcome you to Congregation Ahava Chesed. Temple events happening this week are Parent and Me Play Date, hosted by our interim tier director, Jody Klein, on Sunday at 10 a.m., and then Wisdom, which will be led by Rabbi Glasser, with a discussion on Reform Zionism on Tuesday, July 12th at 10.30 p.m. Pardon me. Shana Tova greetings for the yearbook are now on sale until September the 1st. For more information on pricing, please view your Temple Times or contact Ellen Burson directly. Temple will focus on a full calendar of social action projects throughout the year. Our July and August school supply drive will benefit Cedar Hills Elementary. If you would like to donate supplies, you can bring your items to Temple and drop them off in the bin that will be located in the lobby or refer to your Temple email with the Amazon wish list link. Please see your email for a link to submit names of loved ones you'd like to remember in this year's Yitzger Memorial Book. Our own egg tonight will be outside in front of the temple. If you'd like to speak with our clergy after services, we ask to you, please meet with them at the Oneg. Once again, Shabbat Shalom, and I'd like to introduce fellow trustee, Lonnie Derby. Hi, good evening, Shabbat Shalom. I am absolutely thrilled to be chairing the Tikkun Olam um, Repairing the World Committee for the Temple. And we are kicking off with the collection of school supplies. We're making it easy for you. Whenever you're coming to Temple, please um, bring school supplies for any event. This is across Temple um, for all T T3, Brotherhood, Sisterhood, Temple members. Um, when you're walking in the building. If you're not coming in the building, you're welcome to send them through um, the Amazon.com link and um, or gift cards are accepted. We really appreciate it. Cedar Hills really needs our help and we will be kicking off with a lot of events and collections and walks and um, things to repair the world. So please stay tuned to your messenger and we are, I am thrilled to um, be kicking this off. So thank you for your help and your support and again, Shabbat Shalom. Thanks, Lonnie. Thanks for taking on this important task for our temple, and we're really looking forward to all of our collections and events throughout the year. We continue on page five as we join together in Kiddush and Motzi. Please join with me. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Ki 
Shabbat Chod Shom Yahava Uvratzon Hin Chilanu Zikaron Lemasei Vereishit Ki Hu Yom Tehila Lemikra Hekodesh Zecheletziyat Mitzrayim Shabbat kodshecha be'ahava u'meratzon in chaltanu. Maruch atah Adonai mikardish ha-shabbat. Join together in Motsi. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, ha-motsi lechem in aretz. Amen. Our closing song this evening is on page 339. We join together towards the bottom of the page in words from Psalms, hallelujah, let everyone who breathes every living soul come together to praise God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah,